Hi, I'm Emily, lead 3D artist here at CSM, and I'm going to show you how to create lifestyle images uh, using our AI world renderer. This first workflow I'm going to show you is going to be using mostly imported uh, meshes, and later on I will show you different workflows as well. So right now I am importing different uh, meshes of furniture and placing them and sizing them the way I want to. The next thing I'm going to do is choose an environment. I'm going to choose the apartment environment. Um, it kind of gives the illusion of a, an apartment in the background. So next I'm going to use the generate prompt. This is going to take what's in the scene and generate a correct prompt to go along with the scene. Sometimes you need to alter it, but most of the time it's pretty uh, on point of what's in the scene at the time. So next up, I'm just adjusting the render settings. Um, this allows me to have more control over the render image that's going to be sh showing up on the right. The next step I did was just add in more meshes and into the scene um, and moving around and changing the scales for certain meshes until I get something that I am happy with. These are some of the renders that I got out of the scene that I liked. This is a, another quick example of using mostly imported meshes um, in the scene and getting something that I like. So the last thing I did was add a spear and flattened it to make it look like a rug and on the right you can see the render picked it up as a rug which is cool. 
um, so I didn't have to use an imported mesh to get a, a rug on the ground. And here is the render that I got from the scene. The next workflow that I wanted to show you is incorporating shapes into a scene. So instead of using mostly or are all imported meshes, I'm going to be using some just of the basic shapes um, and using the prompt, image prompt to get the scene that I want. I'm using just this basic cube to get a window and I use uh, other key shapes and cubes to get like blinds and things like that in the window shape. And this is the render from the scene that I got. So unlike the last two workflows, this one is using only basic shapes. And this is just to show that you don't have to have uh, pre-made meshes or anything like that to get a scene that you want. If you just want to block it out yourself, you can and get something really good at the end. Throughout this clip, you'll see that I keep on editing the prompt. Um, whenever I come up with new things to add to the scene, I'll just add it to the text prompt myself. And this is the render that I got from that scene. So the very last workflow I want to show is using um, the splats to get a nice uh, lifestyle uh, photo. So I selected a garden um, and I'm wanting to use it for maybe like a lawn chair. So I will import a lawn chair or a chair um, mesh and I will place it in the scene itself.
and this is the render that I end up getting with this scene. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!